Hey, what's up, everybody? It's trying to restore. So I got my antidepressant here. Um, my friend James Colvin is over here. He's staying the night. Um, and I think he's going to stay here for a couple weeks. Um, my dad, George, is going to let him stay here. I saw him and his wife, Kelly, today. Um, and my rabbit. I think she needs food. So I'm going to make this video um, for taking together. I can't stop punching myself. Um, I got diagnosed with Tourette syndrome when I was like seven. Um, that's Tourette syndrome takes up my neck. Um, I went to a neurologist um, in Maryland, and the neurologist that I saw was Dr. Harvey Singer, um, but they didn't diagnose me, um, with paranoid schizophrenia, um, until I turned, um, like, 21, or 22, um, and I'm 29 now, um, there was a point where I was in my public school, um, and I had Tourette syndrome, um, and I had a funny walk when I would walk to my public school. I would go like this when I would walk or things like that or move my sides around when I would walk because of my Tourette syndrome. Um, there are times where um, I'll dig into my side with my Tourette syndrome or I'll scratch my neck a lot. with my Tourette syndrome. Um, I have self-harm before. Um, I have one self-harm scar. I don't know if you all can see it, but I cut myself once um, when I was real sad. I don't know if it was because I was sad because my black friend died from the coronavirus um, about two years ago, which I believe made me slip into a psychosis on top of the main Trevor Pratt acting that my dad hired for me that consisted of a woman named Amy with blonde hair, um, a man named Dr. Miguel on the Trevor Pratt acting and a woman named Kristen that treated me real mean. Um, so the Trevor Pratt acting that my dad hired for me was mean. I thought about dropping out of my alternative school, which was Arrow. Um, but I didn't drop out. Um, and I was at the first school, which was at Shipper Pratt. Um, and I was real popular. That's where all my friends were. Um, and I was real sad. And see, when my friends are over, my dad is real nice and things like that. Um, but behind closed doors, he would punch me in the face. Um, and verbally abuse me and things like that. Like when my friend James came over, I told him, then my dad knows that I'll never try and file a report on him when my dad George would punch me in the face or things like that. Um, so I dealt with physical violence by my dad. I was punched by him about two years ago. Um, and this boy named Alex that stole from me um, would always make threats to put things about me um, on ripoff report or things like that. And really, when my black friend died from the coronavirus, 
I just hated everything I went on by the camera. And I was just like, well, I'll put myself out there on YouTube since my friends, one is, since ex-friends wants to sit there and put things about me on Ripoff Report because people think that Ryan George Fair at 902 be just because Lane isn't real some days and I am real. And I got diagnosed with schizophrenia at like 21. And see, I functioned well as a schizophrenic for a long time. But about two years ago, I had an allergic react. I had a reaction to Halidol medication. Um, and I was scared when I noticed my dad's girlfriend, Margie Robicho, and her sister, Jeanette. And I noticed Jasmine and Brandy and John Powell, which makes me think of John Hawk, that guy that raped that girl and stick him. And I saw the Jared People Coincidence boy on Facebook and things like that. So I got scared and I had a psychosis. Um, when I noticed the 9 or 10 people on my Ryan Fair Facebook that are real. And about the 15 or 16 of them that don't like me anymore. So I had a psychosis. Um, a lot of my friends leave me on scene and things like that now. Like my first girl, like my fifth girlfriend Sabrina did. Um, my first girlfriend, Alicia, doesn't talk to me anymore. Her YouTube is I Love Ryan Fair. Um, and then I was with my second girlfriend, Brooke Darks, on Ryan George Fair Rip Off Report. Um, and we did oral sex. Um, and then I was with a third girl named Tanya, hoping to make Alicia jealous. A fourth one named Nadia, and then a fifth one named Sabrina LaRochelle, that's on YouTube. Um, and then about three years ago, I had a one night stand with a girl named Gabby. Um, I had a girlfriend with black hair nine months ago, um, and my friend James is going to hook me up with a new girlfriend sometime soon. Um, when you have schizophrenia and Tourette's, um, schizophrenia is hearing voices and having tactile hallucinations and things like that, um, and Tourette's syndrome is saying, is saying things and having tics and phrases and things like that, and that's Tourette's syndrome in my neck. Um, even though I believe in a god and a goddess, I don't play with knives, um, but I believe in, um, I told people in the disability office, um, that on my Ryan Fair Facebook, there are, like, nine people that scare me, um, and there's about 13 or 14 of them that I'm not friends with anymore, um, that are people, coincidence people that I encounter in my life, um, that makes me believe in. Um, this girl with black hair that follows me around all the time with a knife and a gun. And legally, I'm allowed to believe that if I want to because I feel it's not a paranoid delusion that Hecate is real. I don't know, and people can look at that however they want it. That's just like people believe in Jesus. It's just witchcraft is the religion that I choose to follow. Um, and I read Wiccan books and things like that, and I say prayers to a god and a goddess. And sometimes I get answers. There's a Hecate Goddess of Darkest Night prayer that I used to say. And things like that. Um, so they approved my disability within like three weeks. And I've talked to people who are former military. Um, who fought in the war. Or people who have brain injuries. And they can't get disability like I can. When really I don't see it as being my fault. I had a psychosis a year and a half ago. I see it completely being 100% my dad George Ferris fault, my stepdad Tony's fault, and Alex's fault, who came in and stole my Xbox with him and his girlfriend Courtney and things like that. And I just hated everything and I made a slander page about Alex and things like that. And then this Levi Carver guy on YouTube that said that he could have people put in jail and his friends are cops and he was just lying to me. So I really don't like him. And it's sad that there's people out there who want to take advantage of America's mentally ill and disabled for their own selfish gain, like Levi Carver did because he's obsessed with Shirley and Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson, which is why he added me on Facebook and things like that, because he wanted information out of me. And really, I don't like the Levi Carver guy that took advantage of me 
because I try to be friendly to him and be his friend and things like that. I try to be friends with everybody. In my first alternative school, I was one of the most popular boys. And my best friend was a boy named Victor that I don't talk to anymore. And then my second best friend was a boy named James Coleman that's in the other room. Um, and then I had a best friend named Jay Walco that I hung out with about nine months ago um, in New York. And then now my new best friend is a boy named Robert. about 600 people (coughs) added me during my psychosis last year on my Facebook (coughs) but really I don't see it as being my fault I had a psychosis and see my dad George Fair has the coronavirus and he's already come home and coughed on me hoping I would contract it from him and things like that so I really don't like my dad George very much (coughs) and my stepdad Tony (coughs) talks crap about me to his friends And there was a woman on the Shipper Brat Act team that thought that I had Asperger's or autism. But really, I didn't have paranoid schizophrenia until I was 21. I didn't have paranoid delusions or started hearing voices until I was about 22. And really, I sat in this house for like five years. And I got nothing out of being Ryan George Fair, except for friends that I'm sure talk shit about me behind my back sometimes, being stolen from by people because they knew I was schizophrenic and things like that. So really, I find my life to be very cruel some days. I don't know. I was stepped on by Ripoff Report and people who added me. Um, but I made a lot of friends during my psychosis. Um, I talked to this guy named Jeff McGaney, who was my neighbor. Um, and I sent this boy named Rob Meyer, um, a friend request. Um, but he didn't accept it. And Rob Meyer is a people coincidence person, even though I'm a paranoid schizophrenic. And Tourette syndrome with epilepsy sufferer. And I explained to my friend James... That when you hear voices and you have Tourette syndrome, voices will make you write down things that aren't true or things like that. And really on my Ryan Fair Facebook, there are about nine friends that are real where I think of them and then they become real and I still talk to some of them even today. And there's about 15 or 16 of them I encountered that don't like me anymore. That makes me believe in a dark goddess and a god. And for a long time, I was Christian. At first, I was an atheist, and then I was a Christian. But then I was in a witchcraft coven called Bloodstar Coven, ran by a guy named Jeff. And his witchcraft coven makes me think of Jeffree Star. Um, So I have a Wicca for Beginners book in my room. Um, I have this crystal ball that I bought at the mall. Um... I made a voodoo doll about my dad because I think he's evil. Um, I play with my black bunny rabbit and there's a turtle in the house. Um, And my dad won't let me have a cat or a chinchilla, even though I would really like to have a cat. And my cat Ace got out. It was washed by a girl named Samantha and it got out and things like that. 
I just talk to people on my Ryan Fair Facebook. Um, and I'm sure some people know where it is. Um, in 20... I'm 29, and I want to say when I was 26 or 27, that's when this boy named Matt Beckner at Miles Turner School attempted to rape me. Um, and when I was little, there was a man named Chris that said, if you show me yours, I'll show you mine to me. Um, I've never done anything with boys a day in my life, even though my Tourette syndrome and my schizophrenia would make me write things down. Like I did things with Brian, who went to the Horker House, or Billy Wesley Faust or Kelly J. Caldo or things like that when they were all just my friends. <sighs> but really, that's schizophrenia and Tourette syndrome. And having Tourette syndrome with epilepsy really sucks because I have tics at my neck and eye ticks, and I had a funny walk when I was in my first alternative school. And I lived with a dad that wasn't giving me my schizophrenia money at first. I only had food stamps, and I sat in this house, and I had stomach problems, and OCD, and schizophrenia, and Tourette's, and bipolar depression. And I was not prescribed antidepressants for like four years. And some days I didn't care if my psychosis landed me in jail because I felt like at least in jail they would prescribe me antidepressants if I went to jail for like three or four years at least they would prescribe me antidepressants in jail and I felt like I probably wouldn't get beaten up like my dad beats me but that's just schizophrenia when really I see my life as being okay I had my friends on Facebook, and I was sad when my friend Victor didn't talk to me anymore, who was my first best friend, but now I have my friend James that I see, who's come back into my life. Um, I lost friends over my Ryan winning psychosis. Um, I sit in my room and I play with my black bunny rabbit, um, and I really don't like my dad George, I think he's mean. And I don't like my dad, Tony, because I'm sure he talks shit about me to his friends and things like that. And really, when I had girlfriends, I worked very hard to give them money and gifts. And I would shower them with gifts and things like that. And really, I did that with my first girlfriend, Alicia. And she didn't have sex with me because her parents were always there. And then she cheated on me with a boy named Austin. And then her friend Bria was like, well, I'm happy that I cheated on Ryan, which made me feel like shit. So I really don't like my first girlfriend, Alicia. And not only did Alicia cheat on me with a boy named Austin, but then she did things with my friend Brandon Drexler, who is a people coincidence person, because I hung out with a boy named Sean Rand, who hung out with a boy named Brandon Tomes, and then Brandon Drexler has a friend named Sean Shellman. I don't know. Um, this is going on almost 19 minutes. So I'm going to make this video um, for ticking together. I'm going to call this um, I Can't Stop Punching Myself The Truth About Your Rights Response Video um, from Ryan George Fair. And it is 12.29 a.m. in the morning here in Bel Air. And it is Thursday, June 2nd, 2022. So I'm going to make this video for ticking together. I hope everybody's good. Much love and peace. Um, from Ryan George Fair.